when you come to the mat for practice, there's a certain sequence that's used by many yoga teachers. Just knowing that sequence helps you design your own practice. And for teachers in particular, just having that template is a wonderful way to create a class. In this practice, we'll be going through those steps. You've seen them and practiced them a lot, but simply naming them might help you understand how to put together and create your own sequences. We'll begin by centering. Centering is a way to just allow yourself to come to the mat in such a way that you feel all in for the practice. You feel like you know why you're here and you have an idea of what's going to happen. As you sit, sit tall. Come to your breath by closing your eyes and just allow nice fullness to the in-breath and the out-breath. And bring your attention to your inner body. In today's sequence, we'll be focusing on shoulder and upper body strength, as well as side body length. So as you take your breath to explore those areas, the right side of the ribs, the left side of the ribs, you feel like you get bigger, maybe slightly taller. Now with your eyes bright, reach your arms out as if you're pressing in against walls that are closing in on you. Just Press isometrically with the elbows slightly bent with the fingers spread. Now keep the spread of your right hand. Take your left arm up and reach over toward your spread right fingers to get length. Now inhale, rise up. Take your left hand and again press into this imaginary wall that's squeezing in on you and you gain strength and through the strength of the left hand, create flexibility on the right side as you reach your right arm up and over your head, almost like you're trying to reach your left fingers. And inhale, rise up. Let's make our way to the second step. So once you've centered yourself and you have an idea of what you're working on in the practice, sun salutes are very typical in many yoga classes. So come to the front of the mat and stand in Tadasana with your feet hip distance apart. Engage. As you spread your toes from the toe tips all the way to the pelvis, feel the strength in the legs the engagement in the legs. On the in-breath, take your arms up, take your hands wide apart and back. Exhale, take your hands down to the mat and step your right foot back. Take your right knee to the earth. Draw your heart forward. Step back to downward facing dog. Step forward with the right foot. Draw your back knee down. Step the back foot forward. Place your hands to your low back. Rise up. In the sun salutation portion of your sequence, you can put a lot of variations in. So we'll be doing that in a few variations of Sun Salute. Standing in Tadasana, engage fully. Inhale, reach up. Take the hands wider apart, reach slightly back. Exhale, take your hands to the mat. Step your right foot back. Come to a high lunge, balance yourself. Reach your arms up, reach back, 
release your hands down, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Balance, take your hands to above the knee. Reach up, go wide with your hands. Take your gaze up, take your hands back, your gaze back. Release your hands to the mat. Step your back foot forward. Hands to the low back, rise up, Tadasana, the home base of standing poses. Attend to your breath. Find fullness in your breath. Reach your arms up and slightly back. Take your hands to the mat. Step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. Come to all fours position. In all fours position, take your left hand to your low back. Open your chest. Take your left hand down. Take your right hand to your low back. Turn. Release down. From tabletop position, draw forward. Take your heart right between your hands. Draw your heart forward. Take your thighs down. Inhale, rise up, baby cobra. Exhale, keep your elbows bent for this one. Inhale, just rely on the strength of your back muscles. And soften on the exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come back through all fours position to downward facing dog. Look forward and step your way to the front of the mat. Place your hands to the low back and rise up. Pause in Tadasana. Breathe in deep. And out long. Breathe in and reach up and slightly back. Breathe out, take your hands to the mat. Step your right foot back. Step your left foot back. Come to a plank position. Lower yourself slowly to the mat. On the next in-breath, draw your heart forward. Keep the elbows back. Exhale, soften. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Come to all fours position. In all fours position, reach your left leg back. Take your left arm up. Open your chest nicely. Reach over in the same form that we did in the centering, the preparing for the practice move. Release your hand down. With the left hand down, reach your right leg back, plant your right foot, reach your right arm up. Reach it over your head. Release down. Come to all fours position. And now the eight point pose. Move your shoulders forward. Draw your heart between your hands. 
with the thighs pressing down, rise up and draw down. Two more. Lift up and down. One more. Rise up and soften down. Come through all fours position, the downward facing dog. Pause in your downward facing dog. Receive fullness in your breath. Lengthen the breath. Softness in the outer body. Yet find the brightness through the breath in the inner body. Make your way to the front of the mat. Place your hands to your low back. With knees bent, squeeze your elbows in and rise up. Tadasana. Release your hands. Find fullness in your breath. Allow for the fullness of the breath to create this sense of spaciousness in the upper chest. Keeping that, reach your arms up and back. Take your hands to the earth. Step back to plank position. In plank position, come to the right hand and stack your left foot on top of the right. Reach your left arm up and over. Take your left hand down. Take your weight to your left hand. Stack your right foot on your left. Reach your right hand up and over. Release your hand down. Come back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. Bend your knees. Take your hands to above the knees. Straighten your arms. Reach your arms up. Take your left hand to the side. As if doing that same Vasistasana pose, Press through isometrically through the left hand. Reach your right arm over your head. Come back to the center position. Reach your right hand to the side. Take your left arm over your head. Enjoy a nice fullness in your breath. Expand through the left side ribs. Come back to the center position. Walk your hands forward. Take your hands to the mat. Walk forward toward the front of the mat. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. And out long. Walk your feet up to your hands. Place your hands to your low back. Rise up. So we've done the centering and the preparations part. Number two was sun salutes. Now we'll do standing poses. And a lot of teachers include standing poses as part of their sun salutes. Whichever way works for you, by all means, sequence your practice in a way that really lights you up. I like holding the poses a little bit longer. When I weave standing poses with sun salutes, it feels like I just don't give myself enough time in the poses. Step wide. As you step wide, take your hands to your hips, 
hug your elbows in, get this nice opening of the upper chest as you squeeze the elbows in. Turn your right toes out, bend your right knee, just take your hands to the top of the right knee and bow in. Keep a nice strength in the back leg as you draw into this forward fold. Now inhale and rise up. Keep the stance and reach your arms up. As if doing that same action that we did in Vasistasana in side plank pose, push your right hand toward that imaginary wall. Take your left arm up and reach it over toward the right hand. Now come back to Virabhadrasana number two. Reach your fingers out. Now with the left hand, push into that imaginary wall with a slight bend to the elbow and take your right arm up as if trying to reach the left hand. Come back to Virabhadrasana two. Now release your hands down. Step your right foot back and trade sides. Take your left foot forward, park your back heel, lift yourself up, Virabhadrasana number two. With the hands in that same position that we were working on to really engage the arms, the shoulders, to hug the shoulder blades in toward each other. Reach your right hand toward your left hand for length in the side body. Lift the right hand up. Press into the imaginary wall of the right hand. Take your left arm up and over. And cycle the arms down to the mat. Step back to downward facing dog. Walk your hands back to your feet. With your knees bent, straighten your arms. Allow for a nice engagement of your legs before freeing your arms to take your arms up. Take your pelvis back a little bit more. Press down to rise up. Release your hands. Now step wide on your mat again. In your wide stance, turn your right toes out again. Bend your right knee. Place your hands right above the right knee, just like we did before. You can drop your right hand all the way to the mat, or if you've got a block close by, by all means, Feel free to use that. Take your left hand up. Take your left hand over your head. So again, the same action that we've been doing. One hand is pressing, the other one is lengthening the side body. Now inhale and lift yourself up out of the pose. Rather than going through a flow cycle where we go to the downward facing dog and to the opposite side, we'll stay in the standing position to take the left toes out, bend your knee, take your hands right above the knee. Same thing, just bow in. Now press your left hand either to the mat or to the block. Turn your heart, reach your right arm up, and give length to the right side ribs. Nice fullness. Fullness in the breath. Fullness in your pose. On the in-breath, lift yourself up to come out of the pose and release your hands down. Let's make our way to do a little bit of back bending. And this would be the next component in our class, the fourth piece. In the sequence, we got the side body open, we engage the arms nicely, 
And now we're ready for just a little bit more heat, a little bit more challenge in back bends. So come to your belly. Once you're on the mat, on your belly, bend your knees. Reach back toward your feet, spread your fingers. Your option, if you'd like to hold on to the legs, go ahead. But I just like finding out how much strength my back muscles can muster to lift me up to reach back and release down. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, draw down. One more. Inhale, rise up. And exhale down. Roll to your right side with your right arm extended. Now let's get a little bit more length to the front body. So bend your top leg and see if you can find your shin or your foot or your ankle and just roll back so that just get the front body a nice, nice length here. And especially the quad, you're giving a nice stretch from the pelvis to the knee. Now roll over back to the belly. Keep your right hand forward and slowly lift up. You're using the back muscles, but the leg is helping you open the shoulder more. And then soften down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, soften. The strength in the poses give you a little bit more confidence each cycle of the pose. And exhale, soften. Now we'll come to the left side. So reach your left arm out. Roll to the left side. Grab hold of your left foot. And just lie on your back. The left arm stays extended. You're just reaching from the pelvis to your right knee to get this nice length first. Preparing with the right side length and the left side length before getting the full length of the front side. This makes it so much more accessible in these back bends. Come back to your belly. On the in breath, Rise up, the exhale breath, you're drawing down. In breath, exhale. Rise up and release down. You can free your hand and come to an interlace of your fingers with your forearms pressing, your toes tucked under, lift your knees up off the mat. Now press the forearms to lift your pelvis up and lift it high. Walk your feet in toward your interlaced fingers. Inhale, reach your right leg up. Bend your right knee. You get similar stretch that you just gave yourself of the right thigh. Release your right foot down. Take your left leg up. Bend your left knee. Once again, let's get a nice stretch through the left thigh. Release. Come back to a plank position. Lower your knees down, the tops of the thighs down, and your belly down. Now take a, a moment to just press your forehead 
into the stacked hands. And this is the fifth element of the class where you just pause after doing some vigorous poses. You just pause to reflect. You come back to what feels like a very natural breath. The spine is neutral. Turn your head to look toward the left elbow. So you're pressing the temple, the right side of your head on your stacked hands. Lift your head and turn your gaze toward your right elbow and rest the left side of your head on your stacked hands. Now press your third eye on your stacked hands and just rock side to side. And rise up, come to a seated pose. The sixth part of the class, seated poses and twists, we like to start in Dandasana, sitting tall, sitting slightly forward on your sits bones. Bend your right knee and turn, make it an easy twist to begin with, turn toward your inner right knee. Let's get this nice fullness. Find ease in the breath. Release out of the twist to the right. Bend your left knee. Twist to the left. release out of the twist. Bend your right knee again. Park your right foot. This time reach your left elbow to the outside of the right knee, if possible. If the right arm is overpowering the leg, work the leg a little bit more. As you imagine pressing down through the left hand, maybe even putting it on the floor if that works for you. Get this nice fullness in your twist. Reach your right arm up and reach it over. A very similar movement that we've been doing throughout the sequence. Release your right hand down. Straighten your right leg to come to Dandasana before bending your left leg and reach your right arm to the outside of the left knee. Spread your fingers, or some of you may want to grab on to your left shin or park your hand down to the mat. Take your left arm up, reach it over, 
Not too deep. Just creating a little bit more length to the side of the body. Release out of the pose. Come back to Dandasana. Get tall. If after doing quite a few back bends, you feel like more forward bends are needed, then this would be the time to do it. So as you press through the backs of the legs, you might want to just slide your hands forward for a simple forward fold. Take your hands to the toes or grab a strap just to get nice fullness to the back body. Now rise up, come to lie down on your back. The seventh part of the practice. Oftentimes people will do hamstring stretches. I love to do an easy back bend here, a bridge pose, just to keep the front side of the body open. So let's do that. Press your elbows down. Lift your pelvis up. Let's get fullness to the front side of the body. That creates a little bit more openness in the hips. Release your left foot down. Come to bridge again. Press your elbows down. Lift your pelvis up. Find fullness in the breath. Draw your pelvis down. Take your right ankle to the outer left knee again. You can do the same thing that we did last time. Just have a nice easy opening there in the pelvic area, or you can draw your left thigh a little bit closer to your left ribs while you're urging the right thigh to move away from the right ribs. Again, release out of the pose. Park your right foot. Lift up another bridge pose. Find fullness there. Take your pelvis down. Take your left ankle to the outer right knee. Again, your choice on how deep you want to go. You can pull the right thigh in or not. Start to soften the breath. Soften your facial muscles. Release your feet down. Press your elbows down. Last bridge, lift your pelvis up. pelvis down. Reach your legs out. That softness, both of the breath, the facial muscles, the outer body. See if you can come back to get even more. Softness to the outer body. A 
as you keep the brightness to the inner body. Listen to the sound of your breath. in deep. Breathe out long. Breathe in deep. Breathe freely and naturally. Enjoy your Shavasana. Namaste.